20-meter span truss to the top of the building. It will be Kevin's most challenging lift so far. This is a, a tricky operation. Um, it's very long. It's going to be very clumsy, and they have to land it right on the exact spot. Kevin needs to make sure the massive truss is securely attached and precisely balanced. He knows any miscalculations down here could spell disaster when this heavy beam is swinging around high above his steel crew. Kevin's finally satisfied. It's time to start the lift. Well, we're going to go up, and then i got to spin it, and then we're going to put it in from up there, from that, from that man to that man over there. Hopefully. The crane driver moves into action and raises the beam slowly upwards. Kevin makes the operation sound straightforward, but every man on his crew knows this is a time for total focus. This is when construction becomes high drama. Even Claude's come to a standstill. The truss rises above the first floor decking. It passes beyond the crane driver's vision. Now he has to be guided by a man up top on a mic link. All right, you're clear. All right, get up, George. The man on the mic directs the huge steel beam gently into position. Down, stop. You gotta make it the very top of that column and then down that lower connection there. High up above, Kevin's men are ready to grab the truss and bolt it into place. So far, it's been a textbook operation. But now, it starts going wrong. Badly wrong. We don't know if the engineering is right, if it's gonna fit. We're hoping it is. Usually it works, but if we're having a little, uh... I don't know if it's going to work or not. I really don't. Kevin isn't confident, and that could mean big problems for Claude's schedule. I have to be up there to make sure my men do the right thing. <laughs> One never knows. I'm, I'm going to go past. I'm going to go past. I want to go. I want to go past. I want to go past. It's not going to work because of the column cap. The beam is too long to fit between the supporting columns. In the temporary terminal, the decorators have their own very different problems. They're having a sticky time putting up a wall display featuring JetBlue's summer destinations. <laughs> The design team arrived. Surely it didn't look like this back on the drawing board. Everything shifted, shifted over this way. If this four or five feet starts over here, then the Caribbean won't get cut off because there's no wobbles over. No, and if I start here later on, did we not explain that to them enough? Apparently, apparently not. No one came in here and said, this is exactly how it's going to go. Yes, we laid it on the floor, we taped it up, but you know what? That's not an exact science. And now these guys actually have to take that and turn it into reality. Okay. Let's find something that fits there that we can live with. We'll fix this. Okay. All right. Good. We'll get it fixed. Beauty. Think positive is the message here. But back on the roof, Kevin Zinzer's grappling with a weightier problem. The massive steel truss won't fit between the support columns. Now he's going to try to hammer it into place. It's not gonna work, we gotta burn the lug off. All right, let's get that torch up here. He's going to try and burn it off. Coming up. It's the final throw of the dice, and this guy had better get it right. If he doesn't, the project could face serious delays. The iron worker has removed the cap. Now the big question is, will the truss slot into place? It will. The welder lines up the spud wrench, the bolts fit. Almost there now. It's a beautiful thing. The higher steel frame sections are now in place. It's a major step forward. 
Now Kevin's team can concentrate on laying the steel roof decking. This set of metal curbs will support the large air handling units, which will control the building's heating and air conditioning. At the temporary terminal, work is carrying on at a furious pace. It's a mad dash to get the building ready for the safety inspection tomorrow. Debbie's on the seventh and final jet bridge. Her eye for detail is still frighteningly sharp. Really sharp with their trim. That's but, you. <laughs> but, let me explain. This piece was up to there. Time's running out for Mike. The Port Authority arrive in 14 hours at 8 a.m. sharp. They shouldn't be at an angle. Did he have two layers or one layer on the back of that panel? There's only one. I've got two sets of four down there. Sounds easy enough. We'll get it done. <laughs> <laughs> we will have a few items that won't get finished. We'll make it on time. We have that. We have no choice. It'll be finished on time. 7.30 p.m. Mike's pulled his team together. They'll have to work through the night to stand a chance of getting the building ready. Mike's team are not the only ones up late. Logistics manager Fred Ringler has a long night ahead of him. He's planning the arrival of six wide load trucks carrying the 16 meter long air handling units. We'll all be there. We're going to have to do some inspection of the equipment. There's some paperwork that has to be filled out. To keep disruption at the airport to a minimum, the oversized convoy is due to arrive at 4 a.m. JFK runs around the clock. Air traffic is heavy day and night. But the only way to get Fred's oversized convoy onto the building site is to drive it straight down the main runway. It's a highly sensitive operation. 5 a.m. The trucks are stopped at the security holding point. Fred needs to get the convoy rolling and fast. The runway will soon be busy with the rush of early morning flights. Because of heightened security at the airports, uh, you know, it's important that uh, the Port Authority maintain control over um, any vehicle that rides, you know, into the, onto the grounds of the airport. Finally, the escort arrives. The six wide load trucks head for the runway. Disruption to JFK must be kept to a minimum. Aircraft are on the move all around them. Fred's got them safely on site, but his night's not over. Parking long trucks on an unlit construction site is a task in itself. Well, if it backs up, it pulls right ahead. Just watch this roadway. Yeah, this just, you know, just get over here as much as I can. That's it. Nice, nice and easy. 7 a.m. This is just one half of an air handling unit. It needs to be lifted and joined to the other section up on the roof. Eventually, the building will need 37 of these. They will control the heating and air conditioning throughout the terminal. 